In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down John ja Morant and what makes him so dominant in the NBA. Why it's so easy for him to score. So let's get down. Let's check him out really quickly. If you want to become a better shooter, make sure to go check out the hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. So first off, John Morant gets a lot of his baskets off of a fast break. Now in this case, this layup was all because of him keeping that ball high when the defender tried to cut him off in front. And by keeping that ball above his head, it was away from the reaching arms. Because if you keep the ball down here, many refs will say that you're out of control and they usually don't see any of the hacks that are happening. In which case, if you keep it high, it's going to be much easier to get to the rim, but also a higher chance of a foul being called. Here he sets up the screen perfectly, so he does a quick in and out jab towards the right side which is away from that screen. He then used, essentially used the screen, he was a bit late, but he still was able to use that screen and drew up that drop defender. In which case he then sent up a lob to his teammate for the dunk. Here he's got one of the best defenders in the NBA guarding him. There is a bit of a height difference to him, but this defender gets super low which will help him stay laterally quicker. John Morant then, instead of dancing around too much or attacking full out, tries to get him onto his heels, which is exactly what he did here, and he created a top foot. By creating that top foot, you attack that top foot, takes time for this player to then turn back around, and that's when you take one last dribble, keeping that ball high, away from your defender, and then you're able to score. Here he uses the screen, but the hedge man went way too high. There was a massive gap between the hedge and the screen, and John Morant took that gap. When he attacked that gap, he drew in multiple defenders. He could have kicked out to multiple different players. However, he was able to finish because, again, he keeps that ball high away from the defenders. And by moving that ball from the right side to the left side, he's trying to make contact with the reaching arms of that defender to try to get that and one. He kept it high. There was no contact. There was no foul. But because he kept it high, he was able to get that basket. John Morant's really good at splitting screens, and that's exactly what he did here once again. Anytime a player goes way too high to hedge, John Morant cuts that screen, and then he's able to collapse the defense. Here, he's able to send up the lob to his teammate who's cutting back door. Now, this is called the Russian spot, or also called the dunker spot. If you've got somebody attacking from the wing or the point, or the wing, if you are in the corner, and you can cut along that baseline, that's going to create a lot of opportunities for you if your teammate can pass to you. This time he attacks that hedge man once again, in this case a drop defender. He does a quick in and out dribble, which then removes that defender out of his way. Why this works is because this defender's been getting split every single time in this game. Now, by faking that split, that creates that top foot, but also removes the defender out of your way so that you have the open lane to the basket. That's exactly what happened here, and he was able to get that basket. Also, a one-hand gather is also really, really preferred in this case because it allows you to use your off arm here. He's able to use his off arm to shield his body from the body of his defender so that he's able to get that shot off. Now, in this case, this defender was cheating. He was already going over top of the screen before the screen even set up. Anytime a defender goes and tries to cheat over top of the screen, you should be attacking the basket right away because now he's going to be stuck right behind you. Now the reason why this dunk looks so good is because he gathered with one hand right there. He then took his two steps, got that ball high on that right side, and then he was able to switch hands in the air and then throw down a left-handed dunk. You can do this as well without even dunking. What you can do is to go for your last step bring that ball up the right side, gets that defender into the air, and then you can switch to your left hand for a left hand layup or a hook shot or whatever it may be. And don't underestimate floaters. Being able to get that ball up within 10 feet and just floating it, that's why it's called a floater, will really open up a lot of opportunities for you. What John Morant does here as well is really good. He takes that shot fake, gets this guy into the air. There was no reason for that guy to jump at all. And then John Morant's able to attack that rim and attack the secondary defender. 
this guy's defender. The reason why this is important is because by attacking that man, keeping that man behind you, you can drop it off if this guy doesn't move so that now he has the open shot. And by passing, in this case, John Morant passing, he's now telling the other team that he's a willing passer so that now they may not double team him in the future. In this case, we're basically seeing a zone style defense, 3-2 in a sense where they all three players are cutting off that free throw line and a lot of ball handlers will not pass this out at the younger age groups and a lot of younger age groups they'll try to attack the gaps between this zone they're creating a wall and what they're trying to do here is to disallow you as the player to drive through the open lane what you need to do now is to essentially attack just that middle man and then once these guys collapse you can kick it out or in this case go up for the shot yourself if you're skilled enough i hope that this video has helped you become a better player if it has hit that like button subscribe make sure to go check out the hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below and i'll see you guys again next time